Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Catane module tutorial. This time, we're covering the Piano Keys module, one that, uh, been out for quite a while, one of the earliest ones, and, uh, definitely one that's worthy of, uh, some time and attention. Uh, let's start out by getting edge work, because we do need that for this module. We have a single battery, and a single holder, obviously. Uh, indicators, we have an unlit bob, a lit IND, a lit SIG, ports, we have a parallel, serial, PS2, RCA, and another parallel port. So lots of ports. And our serial number is alpha 43 X-Ray Echo 8. Alright, the way piano keys works is you get this little miniature piano and using these rules here, based on which symbols appear, you're going to play a certain tune. Now all of these tunes actually are familiar ones, like this one for example, uh, doing a quick check on this one, could be... which is the Jurassic Park theme. All of these are somewhat well-known tunes, or somewhat recognizable tunes, I should say. And we'll go over what all of them are before we wrap up. Well, let's look at how we do this. Uh, as the diffuser, first off, if you don't know your keys on the piano, probably should learn them for this module. Uh, here on the second page, you have a listing of which keys they are. This is a shortened keyboard, so you have C over here on the left, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then the black notes are named the note ahead of it, flat. Or the note behind it, sharp. So this is C, C sharp, D, D sharp, F, F sharp. Or going the other way, D, D flat, E, E flat, G, G flat. Now if one of the songs in this module uses, say, two different E's or two different C's, you still hit the same key, but it appropriately modifies the noise. Uh, so as the diffuser, you need to know your keys, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. At some point you'll probably learn which keys make which tunes as well, but that's obviously not something you need to start with. And you're going to need to know these symbols, because you're going to have to read off to the expert which three symbols are at the top. Now there's uh, easy names for them, and then there's formal names for them. Uh, let's actually go through them in the order on the manual real quick. We have a flat, common time, sharp, natural, fermata, cut time, turn, it's a clef, mordant, fermata, common time, flat, sharp, cut time, mordant, natural, or turn, or clef. So there's about 11, I believe, symbols total, 12, somewhere in that area. There's there's not a ton. And as the expert, once you figure out which three symbols your, uh, your diffuser has, you're going to figure out which row applies, both with the symbol and the extra requirement, and then you're going to have them play the appropriate note sequence. Uh, so let's do one a little more uh, formally than the first one I did there. All right. I pulled up a fresh bomb, because with the f as few of the requirements as we hit, we're going to hit the same tunes pretty often. Uh, so let's see if a fresh bomb will give us a few more opportunities. Uh, we have five batteries and three holders this time. A lit FRK. Oops. Uh, PS2, RJ, serial, parallel. Let's go ahead and get the serial number while we're looking at it. Uh, another serial, another parallel. All right, and let's do this one here. We have a flat, a natural, and a mordant. Flat, natural, mordant. Uh, so we go through. Uh, here's flat. Further requirement, serial numbers even. It is, oh, well, I guess it's the first rule. Uh, and you want to read them, okay? Notes are, and these are all flats, Bravo flat, Bravo flat, Bravo flat, Bravo flat, Golf flat, Alpha flat, Bravo flat, 
Alpha Flat Barbara 5. You may want to have them hit a button after each one. So with the flats, it's B B B B G A B A B. Now, if that one sounds familiar, I'll play it again on this one. It is the Final Fantasy victory thing. Notice, because I saw the flat there, I knew the same rule would apply. Alright, what else do we got? Well, let's look at this one. We have, uh, boop. We have Natural, Vermada, and Clef. So, we don't have a flat, we don't have a common, we don't have a sharp. We do have Natural and Fermata, actually. You don't see that rule come up a ton. Uh, so we're going to do this one. E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, E. E, F sharp, four times. Now that one probably didn't sound like anything because of how I played that one with no rhythm to it. That's actually the James Bond theme. As I said, we'll cover what all these are in a little bit. Uh, for this one, it is Mordant cut time clef so no flat no common no sharp no natural and from auto cut time did we have an rca port we did not actually no so not that rule uh, clef but we require a lit snd no uh, here's my mordant on three or more batteries that's true so this is my rhythm uh, it's C sharp, D E F, repeat, B flat, A. That's Pink Panther. Uh, and the last one, uh, we've got no flat, but we do have a common time. We do have two or more battery holders, so we're going to hit the first rule um, E flat, E flat, D D, E flat, E flat, D. E flat, E flat, D flat, or D D, E flat. So you'd convey it to your diffuser in such a manner without the uh, difficulties that I did in doing it, because it's a little tricky going back and forth on this one, especially trying to keep some of the rhythms. Uh, now, as I mentioned, all of these are actually musical songs. So let me mute my game for just a moment, and let's look at them. And like I say, with a... Uh, a uh, very experienced diffuser, you're likely just to be able to give the name of the song and they'll know the sequence. But uh, we went over some of these, but this first one here is uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, the next one is Guile's theme from Street Fighter. Uh, then is the James Bond theme, which I mentioned. Uh, I believe we hit Jurassic Park once. Uh, this one doesn't come up a lot, but it's the Mario theme here. Uh, next up is the Pink Panther theme. Uh, we have the Superman theme. Next up is Tetris. Uh, this is the Empire Strikes Back. The Imperial March. And last up, we have Zelda's Lullaby. So obviously you don't have to know what these are. It, it helps me, personally. Uh, it especially helped me kind of learn them because I knew what I was supposed to be sounding like. So to recap, here's all of them. Final Fantasy, Guile's Theme, James Bond, Jurassic Park, Super Mario, Pink Panther, Superman, Tetris, Imperial March. It lists as Empire Strikes Back, but it's the Imperial March from Empire Strikes Back. And Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, so let's go back. Let's pull up one more bomb. Got no background music to distract us. Uh, I'll give you edge work per usual, and we'll see uh, how you do with it, if you can figure out which songs I need to play. Um, edge work. We have th five batteries in four holders. 
no indicators two serial ports an RJ port and a PS2 port and a serial number 5 Sierra 7 Romeo Victor 3 and we're gonna do two of these the first one is turn flat fermata the second one is mordant common time natural so it's turn flat fermata mordant common time natural go ahead and pause see if you can figure out which lines those should be which songs we should be playing and we will double check all right I went ahead and highlighted our two answers the first one turn flat fermata uh, we do have a flat but we don't have an even digit at the end of the serial number uh, we don't have common time or sharp we do have fermata but not natural we have turn but we don't have the RCA port we need no clef we have fermata we have three or more battery holders so it's the pink panther thing you'll notice it's already got a green light I went ahead and played it because I want to demonstrate after you've finished you can continue to play the piano it doesn't give you strikes you can just kinda play it the way you want to uh, it does play in the appropriate uh, octave pitch whatnot for the module you're working on for the particular song so this one's gonna sound like that pink panther and the one down here, um, again, no flat. We had the sharp. No, we didn't. We had the common time, sorry. Two or more battery holders made it Giles theme. See, no strikes for playing an extra tune. So let's do one more. Uh, so this is common time, so we said that should have been Giles theme. that. Uh, C, so this is again Guile's theme. Uh, no C, but there's a sharp this time, so. This is one of those modules. Uh, this is one of those modules where if you've got multiple copies on the same bomb, there's a good chance you're going to be hitting the same answer repeatedly. So, that's something to be aware of. Uh, anyway, that is piano keys for the most part. However, you'll notice I didn't scroll all the way down on this uh, manual page here. There's a whole nother section. Red border and it's called Cruel Piano Keys. It looks a lot more intimidating, and it is, but we'll get to that in another video. For this time, however, this has been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below as always. Until next time, have fun, don't explode. Bye, guys.